Well, butt kickers, the unbridled malaise with which I'm making this video is due to school starting once again. I've experienced the phenomenon of the first day of classes so many times that it almost feels like I'm going through some sort of ritual now. It's really the same old song and dance every single semester, and so I like to mix things up. Like when the teacher calls my name and asks if I'd prefer a truncated version of said first name. And then I'm like, whatever is fine. And then he's like, well, all right then, Nathan. And then I stop him and say, no. I mean, call me whatever. Like, literally, whatever is what I want you to call me. I want you to address me as whatever. Sometimes I walk backwards into class or say according to the prophecy after every sentence according to the prophecy. And sometimes, if I really want to throw them off, I send other Griff instead of going myself. All right, class, the icebreaker for today is name, hometown, major, and something you love and something you hate. Who wants to go first? I'll go. Hi, my name is Other Griff. My hometown is the edge of the screen. My major is mouth breathing. Something I love is the feeling when you rip off a band-aid. And something I hate is when girls, like, don't even put up a fight. It's not even fun. Th this girl knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. I like you. What's your name? You smell like soap. Good afternoon, butt kickers. It's August 22, the 234th day of 2011, which means that, yes, the first day blues have set in. If you're experiencing the first day blues, whether it's simply from monotony of having to do this again, or from the seemingly slim chances of being a truly successful individual from among a very large student body also striving to be truly successful, just follow these tips. Tip 1. Go to class on day 1. Even though it's the exact same syllabus-crunching, ice-breaking, mission-statement-plugging crud that it was last semester, never miss out on day one. By missing day one, you're essentially saying, I don't need to go to class to hear someone tell me I should come to class. Yes, you've known for quite some time that plagiarism is a big no-no, and that updating your Twitter wall during class discussion is generally considered bad, but coming to class on day one shows that you care. Now, I've never been a professor, and so I can't speak from first-person experience, but I can probably guess that professors prefer to teach a class of people who act like they care. Tip 2. Realize that day one is just one day. Don't try and get everything accomplished so far ahead of time that you can't stop and enjoy the little things. Make sure to take some time to take a load off, or in my case, stress about making a video, and thereby be only capable of making a video about coping with stress. Tip 3. Make today a little special. Treat yourself to lighten the transition. Whatever your vice happens to be, whether it be video games or movies, or something as simple as going to Jimmy John's to avoid having to eat leftovers for the eighth night in a row, feed that vice. Now, don't fall off the wagon or anything. Don't binge on chocolate truffles and wake up the next day a gassy, acne-ridden wreck. But do realize that transition is hard for pretty much everyone, and sweetening the deal is not a bad thing. And finally, tip four, plan your day. It's pretty easy to lose track of time, and okay, it's 2 p.m., which means I need to stop recording. Ultimately, you're not alone, butt kickers. Everyone else who's currently engaged in gaining an education is going through the exact same thing right now. Remember that. So until tomorrow, I'm Griff, and I'm still talking, according to the prophecy.